Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom and welcome to Madden Madness. This is the tournament that gives every team a chance. If you haven't watched, here's the bracket thus far. We're going to have the Raiders and the Broncos going at it today. The winner gets to move on and the loser goes home. We're at a neutral stadium at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. So who do you think is going to win? Let us know in the comments below, like the video, and subscribe for more. Without further ado, here we go as Cordell Patterson is back and ready to take the kick. Raiders will have the ball to start the first half, and Broncos will have the ball to start the second half. Ball's away, kick deep in the end zone, and Richard's going to catch it and take a knee. And out comes Derek Carr, and believe it or not, if he can finish this game without getting injured, which he, there's no injuries in this league, um, this will be the first time that he's been able to make it through a Broncos game in just about a year and a half he was injured with the leg injury at the end of last season and it was Connor Cook versus the Broncos and then this season he was hurt he hurt his back late in the game and TJ Yates had to come in for him so Carr's going to hand it off to Lynch Marshawn Lynch who was a part of the Seahawks team that beat the Broncos in the Super Bowl about five years ago. And here's the Raiders offensive line. Cooper, Crabtree, and Lynch fill out the offense. Raiders are going to come out of the huddle. Carr is going to be in a balanced formation. Carr hands it to Lynch, and Lynch is stopped. Gain of only two. And that should bring up the first third down of the game. And here's the Broncos defense. Don led by Domito Pecco up front. Vaughn Miller, who had that game-winning hit in the back right in the end of the game of the Pro Bowl and there's the no-fly zone third and eight coming up for the Raiders Carr's gonna throw he's running for his life and he's been sacked Brandon Langley with the tackle and the Denver is going to see the ball with the score still at zero. And he just got fooled. I thought Langley was going in coverage, but that's why he rolled to his left. But Langley was blitzing and got him. He tried to throw it away quickly or do something with the ball. And Vance Joseph is pretty happy. But now this is the hard part for the Broncos because their offense was one of the worst last year and the year before that and they had one of the worst Super Bowl, Super Bowl offenses of all time so we'll see if they can score some points in this game Emmanuel Sanders juice one defender brings the ball up to the 34 where Denver's offense will come out and it looks like it's gonna be Brock Osweiler this time as the starter it's been pretty much a revolving door for these quarterbacks here in Denver for most of the season. After Trevor Simeon started out hot, actually getting picked up on in some fantasy leagues, and then he just fell off. And Broncos will break huddle. 
three receivers to the right. Osweiler hands it to Anderson. Anderson's got only a gain of two. It's going to be second and eight coming up. And here's the Broncos' offensive line. One of the worst in the league. And Thomas and Sanders, house, two household Broncos names by this point. Osweiler's going to break huddle ten, with 10 seconds left in on the play clock. They're coming out in a running formation. C.J. Anderson just taken down. Loss of two, and they're back where they started. Third and ten coming up. And this is where the Broncos do not want to be. This has been their issue all season long. They just can't get out of those, get into those third and shorts. They're always stuck with those third and longs because their first couple plays don't really work. And then they have to put the ball in the hands of Brock Osweiler or any of the other QBs, and then that's when the turnovers happen. So we'll see if the Broncos can beat the odds on this play, though. First third down for the Broncos. Osweiler's going to throw. He's stepping back. And he's sacked. Taken down at the 24. That's Edwards. Fourth and 21 for the Broncos, so not even a question they're going to punt it. And Osweiler just took too long to get rid of the ball, too. And that's a common sight for Broncos fans. So Broncos will punt. Riley Dixon out there. Kicks away. And good kick out to the 15. Richard brings it up some yards and gets knocked down at the 22. So two yards better than a touchback. Out comes Marshawn Lynch, seeing if he can do something this drive. Couldn't really do much on the last drive. Only gained maybe he gained two yards and then he lost two. So let's see if they can overcome some early adversity. Adversity. company is going to come out in an eye formation. Carr is going to throw though. He's got all day. Throws deep down the field. He's got Cook. That's a 33 yard gain into Broncos territory at the 45 yard line. And Jared Cook the tight end coming back to get that ball. Good job for him. And the Broncos just couldn't get there with the pass rush. You can't give this man all that time. Otherwise, he's going to cut up that defense. Any defense. Takes the handoff. He's going to sprint to his right. Throws across his body. Hits Cook again. And it's complete. Gain of 15. He's got two receptions for 51 yards already. And the Broncos need to make a stop here if they really want the ball back now, <laughs> I guess. Carr's got 25 yards per attempt. And now he's in a running formation with Lynch in the backfield. Carr's going to throw. Dumps it off over the middle to Lynch. And Lynch just pile drives the defender. Couldn't really tell. Looks like it was Todd Davis that got pummeled. But not really too sure on that. But it's a second and one coming up. 
It is Todd Davis that he got, he got that got smacked. So playbook's open here. Raiders can really do anything. Carr is going to throw, dumps it off to Smith. He gets the first down. Carr's still out 100%. He's 4 for 4. And that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. All right. Score is 0-0. But Raiders driving. End of first. Del Rio is trying to punch the ball in the end zone. They got first and 10 at the 11, which basically means it's first and goal from the 11. Because the odds of you getting into that tiny little sliver are not, not the best. So you shouldn't count on that. You should count on this being going for the goal here. Carr hands it off to Lynch, and Lynch is wide open. Big hole out to the three, and it's going to set up a second and two. Now this is a situation that might result in a first down, which would be another three cracks at it. Broncos come out. Expecting the run, which it is, and Lynch is blown up in the backfield. Loss of three. Adam Gotsis, I believe. Yes, it is. Third and five coming up. And Raiders haven't converted a third down yet in this game, so. We'll see if they can convert. They are, they were, are just 0 for 1, so we'll see. We'll see if this is a pattern or if it's just a blip. Car throws on the slant. He hits Cooper. Touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders. And that play could be deadly in the in the red zone if you see the defense lined up in the right way. And that was Tlaib on the coverage. Just couldn't keep up with them. And scores now 7-zip. As Tavecchio hits it in. Now Osweiler has to get out of this hole, which is a common sight for Broncos fans. As DeVecchio gets ready to kick it away. And he's kicking to Emmanuel Sanders. Raiders kick it away. Sanders will take the knee in the end zone. It's going to take out take the ball out to the 25. The Broncos aren't really able to do anything on their last drive. 
So they'll see if they can correct that or exploit something in this Raiders defense. Denver is still in negative yardage as well. Denver has zero rushing yards. Osweiler fakes, throws deep downfield, and it's over the head of number 88, Demarius Thomas. I like the idea with that previous play call, but now that it didn't work, now they're in a far hole. Anderson's going to run it for a short gain of two, and it's going to be a third and long again. Broncos are also 0 for 1 on third down, Go, trying to make it 1 for 2. Coming out in the bounce formation. Osweiler will throw. And he hits green, but the ball falls incomplete. He wasn't even close to the uh, to the yard marker, so. Going to be another punt for the Broncos. Dixon's going to punt it away. Boots away. Good punt out. Hits him at the 18, and Richard pummels the Bronco before getting hit. Pummeled down himself. Lynch hasn't done too much in this game so far. He'll be looking to change that. With the Exception, it's not good stats, but he did have a quick little uh, run near the goal line on the last drive to bring him from uh, 11 yards out from the goal line to just three. So we'll see if that was the start of something or not. They're going to run with him, likely, coming out in the running formation. Smith goes in motion. And they're going to run it right with Lynch, and Lynch has daylight. Just falls on his face <laughs> near the 36. It's a first down. And that's his biggest run of the game. offense has been pretty balanced so far equal pass to run ratio and they will likely run it this time Brown's going to go in motion across the formation but Carr's going to throw and he's got Cooper Cooper taken down it looks like a flags on the field it'll likely be for a face mask call and that'll be another 15 yards it's on Chris Harris jr. And now the, the pile up for the Broncos. come out in the eye they're gonna delay the handoff but hit it to Lynch and Lynch has a decent game pretty good gain of seven they're gonna say eight they're gonna say eight and it's second and two coming up
They're going to break huddle with less than 10 on the play clock. And they're going to come out in a running formation once again. Brown's going to come in motion. And Carr is going to hand it again to Washington this time. Game of two, is it enough? Not enough. It's going to be third and one coming up. And if the Broncos can stop him here and hold him to a long field goal, make the Raiders miss that field goal, and then go down and get a touchdown, it can be tied. A lot of stuff to do for the Broncos, but it can start right now. Raiders are 0 for 3. Washington gets the ball again. He's knocked down behind the line, and that brings up fourth down. Fourth and two. So the Raiders have a decision to make now, but they'll make it on the other side of the two-minute warning. So they have some extra time to think about this. Now Del Rio has the has the uh, nickname of Blackjack Del Rio, and we'll see if he takes that nickname and fulfills it after this. Ra Raiders lead 7-0, but it is fourth down. We'll see what they do after this. All right, we're back. 7-0 Raiders. Fourth and two coming up, and we'll see if they go for this or not. I wouldn't be very surprised if they did, or if they did not. They're just going to take the points, try and make it a two-score game. Vecchio kicks it. He made it. Just made it. It's 10 zip Raiders. I didn't think that had enough mustard on it for a second. But yeah, he just barely sneaks it in. Whew. And Raiders fans should be breathing a sigh of relief. Denver's goal should be to score here and run the clock all the way down so Raiders don't get the ball back. And I believe the Broncos get the ball at the second half, start of the second half. As well, so they could double up here and have the lead before Oakland sees the ball again. But first you got to score before you get to worry about all that other stuff. So the Broncos' goal should be to just get a first down. They're, they're held without a first down so far in this game. And when you're getting stopped out like this, it's up to the play caller to pick the right play. That'll guarantee a first down and get some momentum going. Osweiler. He's got, he's got Sanders. After a whole lot of nothing, they get a 31-yard boomer to Sanders. He catches it just before going out of bounds and stopping the clock. And that was just about perfect. That's exactly what the Broncos needed to get back into this game. See if they can run and keep the momentum going. Broncos are going to come out in a Osweiler throws to Henderson, the tight end, and it's caught for a gain of six, second and four coming up. The clock is running. And the Broncos should really hurry up if they are smart. Taking all this time is Okay, that's not too bad. Three receivers. Osweiler's going to throw. Hits green over the middle. Dangerous throw that could have been picked off. But the defender didn't really notice the ball that was getting thrown right at his face. 
or the back of his helmet, I should say. But it is a first down. And the Broncos are, are actually marching here at the end of the second half. Bunch receivers to the right, one to the left. As Osweiler gets ready to play. Catches it. Anderson. He, I think he's got the first down. Denver takes the timeout. And they're going to say it is a first down. But we'll be back. All right. First and ten near the end of the second half. Just under one minute left to play. Denver's driving for the first time in this ball game, down 10 points, and being shut out currently. They're in field goal range, so they can, if it gets really bad, they can kick the field goal and still make it a one-score game. But a touchdown would be pretty huge in this moment. Osweiler. Going to throw, and he throws it, but he's under pressure and misses his receiver. Wide right, second and ten coming up. And this is where the Broncos really struggle, is when they have that first down and completion or short run, and then they're in second and long. And then they have a short and completion or another short run, and then they're third and long. So we'll see if they can avoid the third and long here for the first time in this game. Osweiler rolls right, throws across his body, out of bounds. He just tried to throw that away. His timer went off, I guess. Starting to see ghosts a little bit. So now we got a third and long. This will be the third third down for the Broncos. They're 0 for 2 thus far, trying to make it 1 for 3. Three receivers. Osweiler, it's a screen to Charles, and Charles knocked out of bounds. He doesn't convert, it's fourth down, and the Broncos will have to settle for the field goal. The Raiders take a timeout. Up 10 points. Osweiler, they're seemingly staying out on the field for just a moment. We'll see if they actually try and go for this. They will not. Out comes the kicker, McManus. Lynch holds, and he kicks it, and the kick is good. It's a one-score game here in Foxborough. 10 to 3. Perfect kick. Splits the uprights. Now Oakland has 32 seconds and two timeouts. I don't know if you really want to test a, test anything. This is the Broncos defense after all. But we'll see what they do. McManus kicks it away. Caught by Patterson on the goal line. He's going to run it out. And he's down at the 29. Oakland's going to come out with less than 30 seconds left in the second half. We'll see if they actually try and get some points here or if they just kind of take the knee and get out of here. If I'm Oakland, I'm going to call a high percentage play that's safe, but if it pops big, then we'll be in business. But if you take the knee, then you're just almost saying no to points. I mean, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so they will run a play 
Looks like they'll probably run it up the gut with Lynch, and they kind of do. Run it left, and that should probably take us to the end of the second quarter and the first half. They're going to break huddle, but I don't think they're going to have time to get this playoff. Nope. So that does it for the first half. Raiders are up 10 to 3. And we're going to skip the halftime show because the show must go on. And here we are at the start of the third. Osweiler and companies down 10 to 3. But Denver's going to get the ball to start the second half, so it can be a tight game before Oakland gets the ball back. At least in theory. They have to put the theory into practice, though. Kicks away. Henderson catches it in the end zone and runs it out. He's crossed the 25. They're going to say he's down at the 26. So a net gain of one, 27-yard return officially. And Osweiler comes out. Hopefully at halftime they were able to figure some stuff out and actually be able to punch it in the end zone. We'll see if they can do that here. break huddle. Oakland's outgained Denver 97 to 46. Denver has a measly two yards of rushing though. They're gonna try and get CJ going it appears. Anderson is gonna run it out and he's got a gain of two so they doubled their rushing yardage off that play. <laughs> uh, second and eight coming up. And they're still held without a third down conversion. Osweiler is going to throw. He, hit, he hits green and they avoid the third down. Getting the first down on second down. It's a gain of about 10. Good throw, good catch, solid. That's what I think the Broncos need to do to win this game is need to get some conversions on second down. Try and keep it in third down and short. And then run some time off the clock and punch the ball in the end zone. They're in a running formation once again. Handing it to Anderson. Flag down on the play. Let's see what this is about. That's killer. The Broncos just got those 10 yards, and they're struggling to move the ball. They've been struggling throughout the game. And then they get a good play, and it's a holding call, so really just messy football. Three receivers to the left. Osweiler fakes the handoff. He's got time. All day. He's going to throw it. And he hits his receiver, but he throws it in triple coverage. And the ball falls incomplete. So it's second and 20 now. And Broncos' chances in these kinds of situations are really terrible. Let's hope they can beat the odds. At least that's what Broncos fans should be hoping. Osweiler fakes another handoff. Flag down. He's taken down. Sack. Osweiler sacked at the 28. Offense. 
and a holding call on top of that. So you got third and 28 or second and 30. Take your pick. And they're going to pick this third and 28. So Denver's probably just going to be conservative here and punt the ball away and hope their defense can get a stop because the odds of that are better than trying to convert a third and 28 when you haven't converted a third down so far. This will be their fourth attempt. They're at 0% con conversion rate. Osweiler is going to throw it anyway, just a little dump off to Charles, and he gets only four. So fourth and 24, and they're going to punt the ball. Vance Joseph, he's got to figure out a way to break down this defense. But first, he's got to talk to those linemen. You got to avoid those holding calls, and you got to give your quarterback some time to actually read the field. Just a mess for the Broncos. Richard catches it, runs it out to the 24. First and 10 coming up. And ideally, if Oakland can get down the field and at least get a score and run the clock down and maybe make it the fourth quarter when they score, Denver, Denver's chances of winning drop by a lot. Denver's going to come out, showing pressure. Oakland hands the ball to Lynch. And Lynch has a gain of five. Second and five coming up. And when you get to this point in the game, running game really helps. Milk the clock off while you still have the lead. Keep the ball out of the opponent's hands. Safeguard the ball. Oakland's doing a good job so far in this game. Lynch runs it again. He's got a first down and more. Finally brought down at the 46. And that was Lynch's biggest run of the night. Broncos are showing pressure. Carr comes out in a running formation. Hands the ball to Lynch again up the gut. And he gets a decent little game. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about before. Raiders are just owning the time possession right now. They've only run two more plays, but they have four more minutes of game time. So that's pretty much the difference in this one. Second and six coming up. And if the Raiders can get four yards on every down, then they'd be just dandy with that. Three receivers out wide. Running formation otherwise. And hand it to Washington, and Washington has even more space. His first run in a while. And he's got the ball all the way down to the Broncos, 33. So they're on the edge of field goal range, if not in it. And the Broncos really have to figure out how to stop this run running attack. I think the defense is getting a little bit tired. They've been on the game or been on the field a little bit longer than Oakland's. I guess that's an understatement. They've been on the field for a lot of this game. Strong left formation. Smith's going to come in motion to make it an even so set. Running it right with Lynch. Lynch can't move the pile and only gains one. Second and nine coming up. And the Raiders do have to run one more play after this. At least. Three, re three receivers. Carr is going to fake the handoff this time. And he's got Crabtree. 
down at that 12 yard line and you can't believe that Cars has 100% completion rate going into the fourth quarter and he threw that ball <laughs> with his body basically getting like rubbed up on by Lynch he still gets that throw off Cars feeling it and that's the end of the third Oakland with the ball and the lead scores 10 to 3 as we come back in a bit all right start of the fourth as the Raiders have the ball in deep Broncos territory in the red zone Car takes the handoff. He runs it himself. He fumbles. He fumbled. Stewart caught the ball. Denver has the ball. That was a clutch play for the Broncos. Wow. Wow. Broncos have a chance to tie the game now when the game seemed to be going all Oakland's way the defense came in clutch let's see what Denver can do if they can keep this momentum here on offense Three receivers. It's balanced formation for Osweiler. Osweiler is going to step back, survey the field, and he fumbles. But he, he recovers it. That's a loss of about 10. Second and 20 coming up. So defense has to be frustrated. For the Broncos, that was Khalil Mack. The Broncos defense has to be frustrated. They get a, <laughs> they get a turnover, a clutch turnover, and then... Osweiler takes the sack. And if this doesn't go well, they'll be three and out again. And Denver's going to have to go out again. Trying to avoid the safety on this play. Out comes Osweiler in the eye. Hands it to Anderson. He's got a little bit of room. And the Broncos will start the next play with a third and 14. And they still haven't converted on third down. This is their fifth attempt, 0 for 5. And it's their defense really keeping them in this game so far. And Denver gets a break as Oakland comes in off sides. So it's going to be third and nine. A little bit more manageable. So after all that, we're going to have a third and nine. Broncos have five and a half minutes left. If they had like a perfect drive, they could run the clock all the way down to zeros and force overtime. In theory, four receivers this time. Osweiler takes the handoff. Surveys. Throws. Oh, and he's got Sanders. Awesome catch by Sanders. First down and then some. That's the first third down of the game. Yep, and Emmanuel Sanders just outruns the defender there. That ball was thrown a little bit too far by Osweiler, but 
Sanders was able to corral it, and now the Broncos have new life. Near midfield at the 44. Broncos are going to throw here with Osweiler. He throws wide. Well, he hits his receiver in the hands, but that ball was out of bounds. Second and ten coming up. And Thomas, he had the step. He had a way. But Osweiler couldn't give him that way. Second and ten coming up. And the Broncos really don't have to push very hard. They don't. They have all day for time, but they're going to throw again. And he, Osweiler throws it away as the pressure starts to engulf him. And here comes another third down, third and ten. And let's see if the Broncos can overcome the odds again. Osweiler draws with Charles. I really don't understand that play call. So you throw out the first two downs and then you go to a draw. I don't agree with that call at all. <laughs> you gotta call a throw. If you're gonna call that play, you need to call it earlier in the game. Or earlier in the down set. So at least with that drive, defense got some rest. As Dixon gets ready to punt this, falls away, and hits at the five and bounces into the end zone. Ball's going to come out to the 20. Close, but no cigar. And Lynch has started off pretty much the same way he's finished. A little bit better in the since his start. Broncos have under four minutes now. See if they can make a comeback. And looks like the Raiders are going to be a little bit conservative and try and run it on first down. They're not. Here comes Carr. Car throws, nearly picked. So after a fumble on the last play, the last offensive play, Car almost threw a pick. And if you're the Broncos defender, you, if you're Todd Davis, you got to be very frustrated. But that's that's why they play on defense because they can't catch. Carr's coming out with the second down. Second and ten. Three receivers. Here comes Lynch. Halfback base. Lynch is driving. Drags defenders for a yard or two. More. Refuses to go down. And it's going to be a gain of, let's see what they say here. Third and seven coming up, so it was a gain of three. The Raiders also haven't converted on third down. This will be their fourth attempt. Broncos. And he hits Cook over the middle. That's a first down and a lot more. So in clutch time, the Raiders prevail. With that spin move too, nice spin move. It's gonna be up near midfield. If the Raiders can get a score here, then that's pretty much going to really... I guess it won't, depending on how much time's left, the Broncos could could still come back, but... The, the Raiders are in the driver's seat. 
Car's gonna throw here. Car. Cook again. Cook has gashed him. And that'll take us to the two minute warning. Raiders are in field goal range. Who's able to beat Von Miller on the coverage? Here's the two minute warning, and we'll see what happens. 10 to 3, Oakland has the ball, trying to wrap this one up. We'll see what happens after this. Welcome back, Luke in Financial Field. Oakland has a chance to win the game with possibly one more first down. And a really good shot if they kick this field goal that they're basically in range. They're going to come out in the I formation. And it's a Lynch. And Lynch is taken down. Broncos will take a timeout now. So if Oakland can get a first down, they got the game. 10-3. All right, we're coming near the end of this defensive slugfest. Oakland can win. They just need the first down. But Denver, if they get the stop here, they'll have a chance to answer and force overtime. Three receivers bunch right. Lynch in the backfield. And Lynch is going to get the ball with nobody in the vicinity. Broncos are going to rush for another timeout as he didn't get to the line. It's going to be a third and one coming up. And we'll see if the Raiders can convert. They're one for four thus far. Let's see what they got here on this third and two. Really, it's about a yard and a half. Carr hands it to Lynch, and Lynch pile drives a defender. He's got the first down. Denver takes a desperation timeout. And Oakland can just run the clock down. Oakland has, as long as they don't turn the ball over, they'll win this game. Coming out in the eye, Carr runs it with Lynch once again, and Denver really needs just to try and get this turnover. Oakland can pretty much run it out too and kick a field goal to make a two possession game, so odds are Oakland's going to come out of this thing with the W. Car hands it to Lynch, and Lynch almost has a first down. He does. First and goal coming up, and they don't even have to run another play. This one's going to be over. Looks like Raiders will officially 
move on to the next round where they will be facing the Kansas City Chiefs. He may come out to kneel it. All right. And we'll take a look now at the bracket. We'll see the last seconds out. And that's it. Broncos lose. They are officially eliminated. Right now. And wrong. And upper left hand corner. Raiders. We're going to have Raiders and Chiefs in the next round. And it's official. 10 to 3. Raiders beat the Broncos. And the Raiders are winners in this one until the next game.